Hello, my name is Ashley Share. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to talk about what is going on anatomically as we do ear pressure pose. So, as you may recall, ear pressure pose is um, a pose like this where we um, bend our wrists and we put it by our ears and we squeeze our inner thighs and our arms around our ears. So now let's talk to Mr. Bones and see what is going on anatomically here. So ear pressure pose is an inversion. So now let's first talk about the arms. What is going on with our arms? So here we have from the elbow, we have the tricep sprocky, the bicep sprocky, the deltoids on the shoulder, on the outside. On our lower arm, we have the flexor capri ulnaris. Ul <laughs> Sorry, please forgive me. This is uh, super hard when we don't have our lead trainer, Peter Icavello. He is the best on the pronunciation. Okay, but flexor capri you'll notice that is what we're working on the forearm when our forearm is mm, this guy doesn't want to bend when the arm is basically up, pushing up, us up into shoulder stand as the precursor then moving forward in our wrist muscles Brachiordialis. Now let's talk about what's going on in the spine. It's a stretch behind the neck. It's also a stretch in the rib cage and how the spine connects to the rib cage. The serratus interior. The pectoralis major. Really deep in the spine here, we have the psoas major, the muscle. In our neck, we have the longest muscles. Right at the top where our neck connects to our skull, we have the splenous muscles. going on in our legs as we do this. So first of all, you have your hips. You're pushing up. And so in this pose, you're really bringing your legs. Um, this uh, skeleton doesn't bend his spine, but he's trying to, we, in this pose, we have our knees by our ears. And then the hands, the wrist bent forward and the hands by the ears. So this is how the arm is. And then imagine the knee is all the way by the ears. She doesn't really have ears because ears are cartilage and not bone, and he's all bone. But um, so for the legs, so we talked about there's neck flexion. We talked about how the arms are moving and the muscles are engaged in the arms. Now, what is going on in the legs? So this is. Um, this is a stretch in our legs. It's a hamstring stretch. It's engaging the inner thigh muscles, the quadriceps, the gluteus maximus, the glutes are engaged. The glutes help us stabilize our thighs. Our abductors are engaged. Our hip flexors are stabilizing our hips. The quadriceps extend the knees and the hamstrings help stabilize. So there's a lot going on in this ear pressure pose. So I'll just do the ear pressure pose um, at the end just to see so, and just to kind of put in context. So we're working our wrists. We're working both our lower arm, upper arm. 
We're engaging our glutes to stabilize us. So we're working those muscles. We're working the hip flexors, the hamstrings, the thighs. We're working our abductor muscles. In the neck, we are stretching the whole spine. And in particular, we're stretching the muscles that connect the back of the neck to um, the skull. So if we get into this quickly, like this, you see it's, it's an intense spinal stretch up into the skull and it's um, muscle building engagement from the glutes to the outer thighs and it's a flexibility stretch in the wrist and it's um, working the bicep muscles, excuse me, the bicep muscles because you're pushing the back of the wrist into the ear and that engages the biceps. Ear pressure pose anatomy for RYT300s. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a blessed day.